This book, Umaluma, has a lot more illustrations for individual poems than the other book, Welcome Chum, which just has the poems kind of fitted in with the story. And the reason for that is that the idea in this book was to create a, a, a sketchbook or, or a notebook which, in which I would put the poems and then illustrations in. And here's an example of that where I draw the actual notebook and then put the poem and an illustration. The same thing on this page. Now quite often, as I've already s said earlier, is that I erased the notebooks uh, but not on every page. That depended on how on the look of the of the spread, whether it was too busy or uh, or it made sense to keep it in. And a lot of poems are bundled together because they they form an idea or an elaboration or a variation. Um, for example, a poem starts: "A foolish fish makes a foolish wish. What does she wish for?" Ashore, I am bored of being wet, and I want a cigarette. So I made this poem, then I made an illustration, but then added a kind of another poem, which is essentially a, a thought balloon. Forevermore I could lie on this shore and smoke this cigarette. You bet, this sand is so grand and so dry I could cry. And then variation on this poem. A guppy is unhappy. I want to be a puppy. I want to wear hats and bark at cats and live on a leash and eat leftover quiche. So this happens quite often in the book where kind of a, a, a poem starts me on new ideas and illustrations and the illustration leads to another poem and that poem may lead to another illustration and so forth.